First question will be from Joe Bettner, with the Norman transcript, and then we'll go to Eric Bailey. Joe. Hey, Trey. Um, curious with just kind of the way you guys have been able to, you know, play defense uh, so well these past few weeks. Lincoln talked about how much uh, this game is another, you know, opportunity for you guys to get better. I'm curious from your own perspective, um, what is it that you guys as a defense are really focused on just as far as getting yourselves ready for the postseason? Um, uh, it's something that we've been focused on uh, from day one, which is, um, you know, playing to our standard and playing, uh, you know I mean, executing our bottom line. So, I mean, that's playing together, um, straight into the ball and out physical, out physical in our opponents. And then, you know, the biggest is takeaways equal victory. So we just make sure um, we emphasize that each and every week, and, um, you know what I mean? Out there on the field, get our calls, get lined up, trust our technique and trust the cause and uh, let it loose, like I said, and play to that bottom line. Thanks, Trey. Okay, Eric and then Ryan Aver. Hey, Trey, last season when you were going through rehab, could you sense the frustration from the defense for that lack of takeaways? And now how much has things changed this season with the amount of takeaways you guys are able to get? Uh, it was something that last year we, we definitely wanted, uh, you know, as a unit to to come out with more. And um, and I think, you know I mean, learning from last year to this year, uh, I think that, that helped us, you know I mean, it's helping us this year because we, we've put huge emphasis on getting the ball out, you know what I mean? Um, when, when ball carriers are carrying it, you know, I mean, the, the, the second guy that comes in, I mean, get a strip at the ball, and then you know, I mean, uh, when the ball's in the air, uh, the ball, you know, say the ball's not designed to go to anybody, so we make sure we attack the ball just as much as the receiver does, and um, just take advantage of each and every opportunity. So when the ball is in the air, we do get those chances. We have to make sure we come up with those, you know, what I mean, those bad decisions by the offense. Thank you, Trey. Okay, Ryan Aber, and then Bob Brisbillo. Yeah, Trey, sort of uh, sticking with that, what's the difference this year as far as completing those uh, takeaways versus last year when there were a lot that were just just close and not a lot of them uh, went Shaw's way? Um, you know, is it the, 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 the pressure from the, the defensive line creating more or something, something else going on that's letting you all finish those? Like I said, as a unit, just starting with the uh, the mindset and the mentality. Of, so we we made a huge emphasis on on getting getting those takeaways this year, and uh, and I can tell this on the payoff man. And like you just mentioned, the D line. I mean, for for set for for a DB, you know, I mean, playing in the secondary, you have to love playing with the D line uh, like we had. You know, I mean, getting pressure on the quarterback, which results in him, you know, what I mean, to 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 be off on his throws, to to make bad decisions, and. And then, then that falls on us in the back end to to take advantage of those opportunities and, and make them pay for it. So I just think um, as a collective group, like I said, the mentality and then like, as you mentioned, just uh, on the back end, just having having the D line getting the pressure on the quarterback each and every snap. Appreciate it, Trey. Okay, Bob, and then John Hoover. Yeah, Trey, Jer uh, Jeremiah Cradell played some meaningful snaps before, but nothing quite like Saturday. Did you have to say anything to him, and how do you feel he handled that situation? I think he handled it extremely well, and he, and he performed extremely well. Um, I mean, he had a great week of prep uh, preparation, you know what I mean, and, and it showed Saturday. So, honestly, I didn't have to say much. You know, my, my biggest thing is uh, kind of being an older guy, being a big brother type guy, um, you know what I mean, just, just kind of letting him know, like, hey, just relax, go out here, play your game, and have fun. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? You know what you need to do. You know what I mean? Just trust your technique, trust the rules, you know what I mean? Let it rip. And, and he, he definitely did that. I, I'm proud of him, and I'm happy, I mean, that, that he got the opportunity Saturday, and then he capitalized on it. Let's go to John and then Barry Trammell. Hey, Trey. Um, trying to trying to write about uh, Alex and how the defense has kind of changed and evolved since he's been there. I um, wonder if you could describe maybe some examples, um, practices, meetings, or, or actual games, um, how things have changed for you guys in the last two years on defense. My biggest thing, uh, what I tell everybody, um, what I tell you is it, it's his mindset and the mentality of, of how we approach everything. Um, our, our defense, as he, called, as he calls it, is effort-based. And um, like I said, with, with the mentality and mindset is we're, we're going we're gonna to make teams play to us. So we're going to go out there. We're going to, you know what I mean, we're, we're going to play our cause, play our technique. And uh, like I said, we're going to play to that bottom line. And that's the biggest thing. I feel like, I mean, over the past, you know what I mean, last year leading into this year, 
I just can tell guys have grown into actually dialing in and, and buying, buying into, you know, what I mean, playing to that bottom line, straight into the ball, playing together. I mean, I mean, being physical, and then, like I said, the emphasis on takeaways, and I just feel like throughout the years, and I mean, I think I feel like that just that mentality is going to continue to grow, and I feel like that's just the main, like the main thing that he's changed here, and it's, it's just a whole culture change that he, that he's brought with the mentality and the mindset of to how we approach each and every day, each and every snap. Um, you know, what I mean, from play one to the last play of the game. Guys also talk about a simpler, simpler game plan and better communication. Is that part of it too? It is, um, and, and that, like I said, that, that, that ties in to, um, to to allow guys to buy in more to the bottom line. You know what I mean, you know, we'll ha- have our few calls, and um, like, uh, like he like he says, we'll have the same defense that we have um, in camp. We'll have the same defense um, at the end of the season. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes time to to postseason, and I just think that just help helps guys out a lot because you, you can continue to perfect. You know what I mean? And, and get better at your technique in each of those calls, knowing that the calls are not going to change. And that allows you to play faster, you know I mean, to, uh, to, to play hard, play physical, and then make those plays when opportunities come to you. Thanks, Trey. Okay, Barry and then James Hale. Yeah, Trey, uh, you guys were playing pretty good defense the first five games. Um, but then Ronnie came back, and you've been playing even better. What exactly has, has he brought to you guys defensively? Uh, he's one of those type guys that uh, you can't you can't even explain it. He, he his presence just on the field, you know what I mean. I feel like it's for, for the opposing teams, the first first thought is it's an intimidating factor, and then I mean on top of that, uh, how great of a player he is. He just brings that mindset, you know what I mean. That 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 dog that that grit mentality, and you know what I mean, especially across the D line. Like I said our D line has been playing outstanding, and you know what I mean that that just trickled down. Uh, you know what I mean, to the backers and then to us on the back end. So just having a guy like that, you know what I mean, being a leader on defense line, on the defense and on, and on the team as a whole, um, you know what I mean, it's great to have a guy back like that because he's so impactful in every aspect of the game. And like I say it shows on Saturdays. Thanks, Dre. Okay, a couple more, Trey. We'll go to James Hale and then Keegan Renault. Hey, Trey, uh, you had a great interception last week, and uh, you were a great offensive player in high school, so you're not going to drop them if they throw to you. But earlier, you know, this year, you guys didn't really catch a lot of them. You had chances. You guys have improved in that area all of a sudden. Of course, maybe sometimes it comes down to if they throw it to you or, you know, some guy with better hands. But you guys must have worked on this a little bit, not necessarily you, but as a group, you guys are catching them now. And I and I I said I think that it goes back to the, just the, the the emphasis that we put on takeaways because you know what I mean as a defense as a defensive player you you know throughout a whole game you're not going to get that many opportunities to get those takeaways especially as a DB you know what I mean when it comes to interceptions you might get one or two opportunities um, you know what I mean throughout a whole a whole game so we're just making sure we've been emphasizing like hey we have to take advantage you know what I mean of those opportunities if we, if we want to continue to climb and continue to uh, you know what I mean on that path to being a, an elite defense, uh, we have to take advantage of those opportunities, uh, you know what I mean? But like I said, whether that's in the run game, you know I mean, getting strips, or like I said, you know, emphasis on the back end, or of course, you know what I mean? When the ball's in the air, we go, go get it like we're the receiver. And I just feel like, we, you know what I mean, we're, we're, we've been doing a better job of that. And we have to continue to improve. I mean, never can get complacent, you know, never can get satisfied. So we continue to improve, improve each and every day. Thanks, Trey. And Keegan? Yeah, Trey, you guys are going up against running back and Letty Brown. That's kind of a thumper um, this week. Got, you know, already the Iowa State game is scheduled. Um, and that last Iowa State game, kind of the tackling was a big issue. Um, just how important, I guess, is it for you guys this week um, to kind of put a good tape of uh, – that you guys, you know, can prove that, you know, you can tackle this week ahead of, you know, facing Brees Hall again against Iowa State? Um, j- just for us as a defense, um, it's nothing new. Like I said, just going out there, getting lined up, um, making our calls, I mean, trusting our technique and letting it rip. Like I said, and, and the tackling, you know what I mean? That's all, that's all the mindset. That's all the mentality. So just every guy on defense buying into it, you know what I mean? Like I said, and that just goes back to to playing to the bottom line, you know what I mean? And I'll emphasize, you know what I mean, the, the, the out physical, our opponent point, um, you know what I mean? Have to be physical on all the tackles, make sure we get a strong rep. And uh, like I said, that, that's just the main thing, just straight into the ball, flying around, you know what I mean, and making sure we're being physical on each and every tackle.